I'm always down for making my life easier. And when it comes to gathering fabric, this foot does just that. Let me show you how it works. Hey everyone, Trisha here with Sewing Parts Online. So let's talk about the gathering foot. This foot will beautifully and easily gather your fabric for you. Depending on the style of foot that you get, it can do a single layer or it can do a double layer. I grabbed a couple of different styles of gathering feet. As you can see, this one is a snap-on, whereas this other one is a low shank screw-on. Depending on your machine, the style and size can drastically change. But as with many presser feet, the style may vary, but it accomplishes the same thing. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. That way you'll get notified of any future videos that we have. First, let's talk about installation. This particular snap-on foot installs slightly different from other snap-on feet. It's not hard, but it's good to know that it won't snap on just like you're used to. See on this zigzag foot, there's only one bar, whereas on the gathering foot, it has two bars. To attach it, go ahead and push up the presser foot lifter and hold it to the highest position. Hang the rear pin of the foot on the spur of the presser foot holder. Slowly lower the presser foot lifter until the foot snaps in. Keep in mind this applies to this particular snap-on. Some of them are just as easy as popping on your zigzag foot. For the low shank screw-on option, that will likely be a familiar process, but you would just unscrew the shank, remove, and screw on the presser foot. Now that the foot's installed, slowly rotate the hand wheel counterclockwise towards you, just double checking that the needle will not hit the foot. This works best on lightweight fabrics. For medium weight fabrics, a ruffler is recommended. I'll include a link to the video at the end of this video so you can take a peek at the ruffler. Now you just need to adjust your stitch length. This is going to vary depending on how much gather you are wanting. The way that you increase your stitch length is going to vary depending on the machine. With this little mechanical machine, I just selected the number 10 since it's a straight stitch with a longer stitch option than these other options. Check your manual to see how to make an adjustment to your stitch length on your machine. Next, you also need to increase your tension. Longer stitches and increased thread tension will result in the fullest amount of gathers. I suggest testing on scraps prior to working on your actual project. There are also different types of gathering feet. See how this one has a slot? This allows you to gather the bottom fabric while leaving the top fabric flat. One easy step. Not every gathering foot has a slot. I'll show you how it works, but first, let's do a single layer. Since you've made all the adjustments, you are able to just begin to sew. If you need to adjust your gathers, you can do so by simply pulling the needle thread. Then you can manipulate the gathers as you'd like. How do you plan on using this gathering foot? Please comment below. Now let's do the double layer. It can be a little tricky at first because you need to keep your bottom layer straight and keep the top layer all the way in the groove. It takes a little bit of practice, but keep at it. It's totally worth it. I hope this helps you gather your fabric with ease. Please make sure that you go over and check out our other gathering foot video. We also have some cool ideas like using elastic thread. Until next time, happy sewing everybody.